it's red. Hey, hello, hello, my happy quilters. You know, there's a really funny about that. What's hello, that? my happy quilters. Susie came into my office in gales of laughter because it said, hello, my agriculture. Oh, <laughs> when it does the, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what do they call that along the bottom when it, now I can't remember. Um, you know we'll the, come back the to words. The subtitles, about, subtitles. Hello, my happy, happy agriculture or something well, like gosh, that. Well, gosh, I really know your history. She was just Marcia. laughing and laughing. Yeah, I know. It was really funny. So, hello, my happy quilters. We're so glad that you're here with us again today on this Wednesday afternoon at 1 o'clock coming to you live from Pine Needles Quilt and Sew in Rochester, Minnesota. And it is a windy Wednesday, isn't it? It is Marcia? a very windy Wednesday. So, we got a lot of fun things here. Susie thinks I have more than what we can adequately get done, so we're going we to have to talk fast. We're not. We're going to have to try not to be distracted. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. We'll see how that works. Okay. okay. So first of all, we have the month of November. We're talking about sewing machine or sewing jokes, different mm -hmm. kinds of sewing jokes. So, <clears throat> did you hear about the nun who was losing all sorts of sleep because she was thinking about taking up sewing? No. Yeah, she was all worried about it because she had heard it might become habit for me. <laughs> wow, oh. habit for me. Okay, so you heard it here. I heard it here. Yes. <laughs> Sewing can become. And I'm sure habit there form. are some of our audience members, including myself, that remember the nuns in the habits. Yeah, exactly. Well, I think there are still there, there are still are there. some, but it's not everywhere. Not quite as much as it used to be. So, anyways, we got some. It fun. is habit forming. It is. It's habit also forming. contagious, Marcia. It is contagious. It is. Um, it kind of tends to take it's over areas of your home or area areas. Areas of your home. Yes, it does. Okay, well, we better stay in. But there are worse things. There are worse things. So let's talk about new fabric. Oh yeah. Be sure to like, comment, and share for a chance to win a $10 gift certificate. We're going to give away three today, two in a random drawing. Well, actually, we're not giving them away today. We're going to draw Thursday three evening. tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, one will get one for our trivia. So let's talk about new fabric. Let's talk about new fabric. Which one do you want to start with? Right there. Oh my Goodness. words. This one. Holly went. Taylor. Yep. This is different. This is Holly Taylor. Um, it's Minnesota gals that do this, have for years and years. This has been in the line since I've had it. I've owned the quilt store, um, and I'll it's always that. kind of reminiscent of our area. It is. And this, this, is however, really, is this a is, new colorway. I know, but this is really up north on a wintry day. It really is neat. It's called Change of Seasons. Change of Seasons. So I'm going to get up close here. Hello. And, and there, show you these lovely there are fabrics. 24 of these. 24 Marcia. of them this time. So this is kind of the blue. Um, I'm going to turn it over this way um, with navy, kind of denim colors, kind of a smoky blue, grays, browns, tans. There's no red or green in here There's this time. No red or green. Or purple. A lot of times she has purple. That's kind of her spring take yep. on this light. This is really, really oh gosh, lovely. look at those grasses. I know. Do you see that? It's really, really pretty. And here's just a fun, fun. And then all of her um, marbles that right. she does too. So those are kind of the blue. And I'm going to have you show this after we're all done. There is okay. a panel here too. So I'll get that And we'll show that when we're out. done. And then we're going to move on into the gray colors. And these are light gray with beautiful, beautiful background prints. Aren't they pretty? And then oh. we've got this is that. It's kind of wheat or something. Kind of coordinates with our hat right? from and last week. Beautiful, beautiful marble. And there is that print again. A fun little geometric. Like and construction tracks. Really pretty. <laughs> so we've got the blues, the grays, and now finally we've got the browns, and they go from deep to kind of a chocolatey colored. So here are the browns, and they're pretty. The dark chocolate. And here is this that's that same kind of a wheat print, a chocolate um, or coffee colored 
marble. This print. Oh, I'm, I'm really fond of this one. Me too. All of the ones. And this is lovely too. This I think she's had before in some of her different um, ones. This, and then last but not least is this with the blue and the gray and just a tinch of, I think that's all like, or maybe some white, but um, 24 lovely pieces of yumminess here. And then in this fat pack, there is also a panel. Do I take down our sewing machine? Oh yes, thank you. So I'll show our panel. It goes this way, but it's hard to show that way. So I'm gonna pull it sideways. So kind of look at the oak leaves. We got aspen. We've got the little dubers that that grow in the fall. This just reminds me of like fun blue jeans, hiking in the meadow. Yeah. Yes. I love it. So lots of great pieces here. <coughs> so change of seasons by Holly Taylor. We also have um, layer cakes and. Um, jelly, jelly rolls. rolls. The charm packs haven't come, and I am not sure if they are coming. We're still having those shipping issues, so the bolts haven't arrived either, have they? Oh, did they? Mm. I've been in and out all week getting people picked I think up. From they me. have arrived, but okay. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe not. I, I got ahead of myself here a little bit, maybe because people have been waiting for this. So I if the bolts are not here already, they are coming. They are coming, yes. Yes. I, I don't know that we've seen them yet. Okay. Oh, no, wait. We did. Okay. We did. They're up front by the front door. I remember now. I've been getting people to and from this week as we've had educators. It's been so had. much fun. Claudia's been here for the last six days, which was absolutely marvelous. It has. Been. I have some Facebook posts and a video to share with you later on, maybe in the early next week. Um, when I get that all put together, and then today we're setting up for our overlocker event, Mystery Make, and we just picked Nancy, Nancy Benner, Benner. Up. Yep. So I dropped one off and kind of picked up the other one a little bit. It is eventing later. time. It is this this time of year. Okay, we went off track, Marcia. We did. Gosh. A little bit. Change of season. Candy cane. The okay. New this Kimberly. is so adorable. This is cute. This I is the grab some of the samples. Kendra's have got the stitch. She started stitching this out. Oh yeah, she out. did start stitching this out. But this is Candy Cane Lane. That's a bench pillow. This is the fabric kit. Um, so you have, let's see. You have what you need to create you have the things on the front. everything you need here too. Well, you can't really see everything, but there's lots of smaller pieces of fabrics in here. And yes. it all comes in this lovely box, and actually and everything could fit in this you box. You can tuck your project all But together. it is priced as three different things. Because you might want to make more than one. Exactly. So we have the design CD, and some people have been uh, framing these little elements. They've been taking the individual elements and making little montages of frames rather than a bench pillow. I know. And I think that's cool. And then, okay, I have to tell you, Marcia. Look at this. There's buttons in here. I know. Here. Those are really cute and ones. Blanky and blanky lights. Fairy lights as well. Uh, not blanky lights, are they? Twinkle lights. They're called fairy lights. Fairy lights. Okay, but there's also cork and glitter and mylar and all sorts of fun exactly. stuff in here. Exactly. What's this little wound up thing? It looks oh, like it's a, glitter. It's, it's glitter. glitter. Yep, I see. For the snow. Yep. Did you see this? It's a hot cocoa stand, people. You can't see it, but it's a hot cocoa stand. And that it's core really cute. is what holds it up. And then they have the buttons for the cup of cocoa. Well, for the cups of cocoa. And then the fairy lights are strung across. I know. It's adorable. It's here. here at Pine Needles, ready for you to we can get it out in the pick mail up or we can mail it. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Fun. Okay. Holiday countdown. Oh, kind my of gosh. Can you believe it? It's, it's getting here fast. I first want to talk about this week's. This is for the stocking, so we're going to start start with here. We'll start with these. Do you want so to this one is tree skirts. So um, grab the kits, and let's see that on the, no, that's for the stocking. Okay, so this, this is the featured kit. And it is pretty nice, okay. and it, I will tell you, this is very, very easy one to make. Here it is. Got it. And it includes all the fabrics to make the top. And I want to see Look the fabric kit. It's here. Okay. Inside here, too, is a lovely, our lovely Alyssa Inglet made these kits. And in here, too, is a white piece of fabric. And I, I want to show you this because I cut all of them out. I am more traditional. 
So we had these white pieces, I had these white pieces in here and then I thought, well that's really modern looking for me. Mm -hmm. So I left the white ones out, but you can make this exactly how you want to because this piece is in there. And not that it isn't pretty, but it's a little more, I'm more traditional. Yep, and she's a little on the younger scale. So I just went with the, <laughs> with the greens and the maroon colors, but this would be beautiful in there too. And you could, I, you have enough, you could do all reds and whites, or you could do all greens and whites, or you, you could, could do... You could make a bonus gift bag. You could, yep. So anyways, I did not use this piece because I want you to see how... Um, how you can I make these here your own. And these kids are really generous on fabric. Almost now did you, too generous. Did you have lots of leftovers? Because they could do a stocking to coordinate, couldn't they? I did not have a... I did have quite a few leftovers. I, I mean, did, so yes. Of strips? Yep, they would. They could, they could so match these stockings. So you can stockings. get refills. But this comes with the batting, as you can see, and it's all marked, just like I've, I've taken those apart. So it's sewing uh, by number, which is really, really easy. And it comes with this template for you to cut out these um, fabrics. Yeah, but what is this thing called? Triangle. It's a 22 and a half degree triangle, I believe. Right. But then I want to show you another option for this. And Susie made this tree skirt. So we have these things on here. And these here, the lines. They kind of coordinate with. Yeah, well, they do. So if you want to make the Bargello version of this, you can, which is absolutely beautiful, but you see, then you know where to line everything up. Well, how when you cut those, they, I know because you cut, you strip piece these. And if you want to grab um, the kit for that, no, we have a kit for this one. Maybe it's under the stockings. There it is. I see it. It's under the stockings. Whoa. Yes, Ray, right over here. Got it. Yep. So this. And then if you can find the pattern laying there somewhere. Did you have one loose or should I take it there, out? I have here? one loose. There oh gosh, she's so smart. Anyways, so this is the kit for this particular one. Now this comes with the separate pattern. So you're going to get this, the patterns inside there, if you want to make the Bargello one, but you do have to buy the batting kit. Right. Because okay. the top supplies, June Taylor quilt as you go, tree skirt, pre-printed batting and template. You need which this. Is, you yep. need to buy this plus the kit with the patterns in here. Um, but this one is the one that's all ready to go with backing, batting, binding, absolutely everything ready to go with the design options as well. Sure. And I was gonna show you the back of this one as well. You know, for those of you who are some traditional or maybe sometimes, you know, gray is a really big color right now it for is. everything. You could actually use this this way. You could. So it could be reversible. So, lovely tree skirts, easy to make. I believe I did this one, started on a Sunday morning and was pretty much done after lunch. Wow. This one's really easy. That one, the Bargello will take a little bit longer. Boy, more seams take more time. Exactly, but, but it's really, really stunning. Much. I mean, this is really simple and wonderful. And the other one's a little so more if You know, if none of our color choices float your boat, Buy the blank and make use of that because it's amazing. Exactly. But if you don't like to pick colors, and I know some of you don't, yep, this we've done really it for nice. you. Uh, I want to talk about the stockings again. Okay. This time. So finally, the stocking um, batting kit came in for these. So these are ready to go out. Um, <coughs> that pile of fabric that I gave you right there. This one. Yeah. So this one, wow. you know, when we get to kitting these, we kit them and then we make them. Had I known, I would not have included so much fabric. So this one's more expensive than the other one. Because he has a couple of bigger chunks in it. But this is like quarter yard cuts. And what I did was actually cut everything in half of all of these pieces. So oh. these would be like fat eights. So you have more than enough. You could do two stockings. Yeah, you, you have might, more, you, but you but might, you'll need one of these. Well, and, and lining. And a lining. Yep. But that's but you know, Lining, you might have something at home too. These, of course, include everything, the lining, the top um, binding, everything. But I will tell you, you have generously enough, and here is the squares that I used. I had so extra So this is those. like another entire stocking right here. 
And if you're creative, you might actually get three. You yeah, just need exactly, exactly. So I am telling you that these are very, very generously cut. So you could, it comes with this and this, you would just need to buy one more of these guys uh -huh. to make two stockings. Yes, or you and could little, buy a stripey one. Or you could buy a stripey one and use these fabrics for the stripey one as so well. So then you have two different prints, but Exactly, and same. this striped one too is very generous. I mean, there is just a lot of fabrics in here. There is not enough, I don't think, to make two whole ones of these, but you could probably make the front and the back and the front of another one too. Or add some of your own fabrics. So I love these. These are cute. They're really, they turned out really cute. They are. And these are really easy, guys. All of these projects are um, lickety split, well written directions, more than generous fabrics um, for you to finish quickly. Right. Okay. So be sure you is. stock up on those. That was the, it's on the holidays. Be, I forgot to put my picture up there while we were talking. You can put it up now. I it's, did. it's windy <laughs> and blustery out. It's a great time to it really get is. those projects and going. And it's fun to kind of take home a kit where you have absolutely everything that you need in there to from start to finish. And because these are all quilt as you go, when you're done, you are done. You don't have to take it to a long armor or worry right. about anything else. And we're good to go. It's ready to go. All right, so we have some new quilt runner kits here. These here, oh gosh. These are so fun. Yep, hiding that. <clears throat> this one is um, from, what was the name of this fabric This one again? is, oh. Just Ladybird or off. something. Ladybird. Mm, no, this is Songbook. Song, is this Songbook? Songbook, yes, it's okay. Songbook with, with additions. And the pattern that we used is called Rocky Mountain Runner. Yep, that's by Terry Atkinson, a Minnesota gal again. And we've got the kits for this one, really cute. Again, this one was fun and easy to do. You can get this done for somebody for Christmas as well. And it's a nice length to put on a buffet or a it table. It is, it is. And, um, or a dresser top too. Oh yeah. I like these on top of dressers as well. So this is made out of songbook. Songbook, yep. Yep. And then, then but wait there's more okay this was so popular last year Marcia but I really love these colors I might have to make a second one this one is more traditional so this one is called crazy Christmas trees yep I'll hold it up it's really really cute so four crazy Christmas trees um you do need a, a ruler you do need a ruler it's um but you did it with a I did it I didn't use the spider web ruler I used the it's it's meant is that the this 45 ruler. degree ruler it's meant for this ruler but i had the one that's shaped like it without the markings oh okay so it was harder it was harder yes you need this ruler there's a fun but we didn't have it and marcia needed it like tomorrow so i had to be creative because this is the do. one that i did the halloween spider web right to. there's a lot of things a lot of patterns you can do in this and if you look in the back here look at all the different blocks this this um spider web uh, creative grids ruler makes so it's not just for this it's for many many so things. let me just talk about this for a minute okay because of all this wonkiness you might think it's tricky but it's not because it's really just strips sewn together and it's the creative way that you cut and then re-sew but really um, even though these are all kind of willy-nilly trees it's a fun one we have mixed backgrounds mixed colors and it's really an easy, fast. This so. looks like those low volume backgrounds that we had in the last. I month, know. Almost. So, but everything's in the kit for you. So, right um, for the front. Absolutely for the front. All right. So that's kind of fun and new. So let's put that in that. Whoa! I'm gonna blow our gift certificate off. Crazy Christmas trees. So it comes with the pattern. Also, this pattern is available uh, 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 on yeah, its own individually. as well. Individually as well as is the ruler, of course. Right. Okay, then the next thing is the quilt behind us, which my husband has laid his claim upon. He has? Yes. Did Susie make this one or did you? Susie make this one. She's kind of the queen of these wonderful trees. Isn't it pretty? It is. Look at the cows in the barn. The old tractor. We've seen a couple of double rainbows here. We have. Um, this last year. The farm all tractor okay. going on. I think this is a... Is this a thresh? This um, looks like a nurse spreader old, to me. This is an old hay dealy bobber. 
I think the hay goes in there somehow. I don't know. Okay. But anyway, spread it. What do I know? And look at the chickens. Cool with the, the wood pile here. I just love it. It's just really pretty. Um, so it's a generous, generous lap quilt. It is and, 60 by 72. So it'd be great for grandpa or the guys or gals too. I mean, it's just really a and pretty, pretty, pretty quilt. It's called Sky Barn Panel Kit. And um, there is a pattern included. And what's great about the pattern is any horizontal um, panel should work right. with it. <clears throat> Once you have the pattern then, <clears throat> if you find another panel, you can use the same pattern again for something Did different. Did you notice there's a star hanging out of that window? No. That's pretty cool. <coughs> it is really neat. I love this one. All right. All right, so we're going to put this one down. Yep. And next we have, this one is made by our own Lisa. And I forgot to give Char credit for making the walkie trees. Yes, Char. Um, she made that one. But this Lisa pool made, um, and I like this one too. It's just fresh and clean. And it's called Good Night June. Good Night June. June. And this one's made with the Ladybird. Ladybird, yep. Fabrics. And um, this is uh, the kit includes some different tone on tones for the background. So it adds a little bit more dimension. Easy stars to make. And then she's got the four different um, border prints, which really adds a lot to this one too. Right. Really, really beautiful. She did a great job. She quilted it, did it all herself on her Q20, right? Yes. So. And Marsha, what's cool about this pattern is we made the 60 by 65 by 65 size, but on the back you get four sizes of quilt um, quilt choices, and I like that about Sweet Chain is that you can make them bigger or smaller. Maybe all the way up to king a lot of times. I know this one goes all the way up to queen, 87 by 87. But that's pretty fun. It is. That's really, really quite beautiful. So that one's called Good Night June Kit, 65 by 65. All right. So the next thing is our curated fat pack. Oh. Now I know that we got the wrong one posted a little earlier, so that's not the right one. This is the right one for this week. I kind of got really heavy on background, so I thought I needed to go into a different color. This one is called Blueberry Pie. She makes me so hungry. <laughs> I know. Why, why is it I pick all those kind of names? I, I can go for some blueberry I pie. Know. So we've got different shades of blues in here. And you see this is kind of this one and this one combined. Um, absolutely love this. You can see in there it's the that. There's, um, of course, I believe this one is a Wilmington mm -hmm. brush. This is our Moda uh, grunge fabric. And we've got this cute stripe. And then this is sketched by Moda, mm -hmm. a different. So blueberry pie, some fun shades of blue that are contrasty enough that you can use them together. That's um, right. But yet matchy enough um, that it's going to look like a really fun, uh, fun blue quilt or whatever you need to use these for another great stash builder um blueberry pie and if you, you need just some blues. like to make <clears throat> log cabins in kind of a planned color way pick up a couple of blues uh, we still have a couple of those low volume gray morning mist ones left no they're sold out we sold out never mind forget that thought but <laughs> you can go to your stash but this would make a really fun log cabin combination they're normally $21 and they're only $17.99 because they're our special of the week. For you. For you. Every yes. week we have a fun, fun thing. Yes, those All are gorgeous right. blues. So this has been fun, fun, fun. The mystery. We're finally to this. Clue number eight. And here it is. It's already up there. It's posted for you on the website. Um, we're finally getting into the accent color oh, how fun. this week. Last time we did all the, what did we, 18 blocks, I think we had last time. Right. So we're going to follow along with this, and you're going to start with, I think I'm going to go back this way, and we're going to start at the top of it, and it's two accents and a dark. So accent, these are those 229, um, says pick 48. Well, yes, but they okay. cut in the beginning, they cut 229 Holy accent little two-inch yes, squares. Did. 
So these, and what you're going to do is you're going to, I'm going to find one that's pressed nicely. Press them oh, that one's perfect. Press them to the inside. And the arrows are on your instructions. Yep, to help the arrows you. are on your instructions. And so it says, what, 48 of Use these? Use 48 2-inch by 5-inch regular so rectangles these and 90 2-inch squares. willy-nilly, whatever you have left, these are the 2 by 5 inch, inch by 5 inch rectangles. Yep. So there you have 48 of those. That's the first step. And then the second step, again, is using your accent three colors. Four of the ac uh, 34 of the middle ones. And then 68 of the of outside, the outside accent colors. And this again, you're going to press to the inside. So this first one, long one, and this shorter one, you're going to press to the inside. So those two inch <clears throat> squares that you had left over, you're going to put two accent squares on each side of these. And there you have it. Oh gosh, look at all of that. A lot of fun. Mess. This didn't take very long either. No, because you had them all cut. You just had to sew. So then this is the third step on here. It's your accent color, and it's flaked with. You're doing 14 of your middle colors. Accent in. and the um, so seven of assorted the assorted lights on the outside. So let me back up. 14 assorted. Seven, seven middles, yep. Mm -hmm. And these you're going to press to the outside. Huh, look at that. Yep, and just a few of these. I wonder what you're making, Marsha. I don't know. It's a mystery. It still is a mystery. And then the last step this week is an accent, a dark and a light together pressed to the outside. So the accent is the green for the blue one. For the other colors, it's just going to be different. And then my dark or my blues, and then my lights. Oh, that one's wrong. Did you sew it wrong? No, I didn't get it pressed right. Oh gosh, well that's these are that's right. totally these are fixable. Right. You're pressing to the outside. Pressing to the outside. Yep. So that is the clue for today. And, and even if you're still joining us, you absolutely you just want to join now because you finally are getting excited because you're seeing what we're creating. You still can. These clues are all up on our website. Well, and do you want to show them how to find that? Our website, <coughs> our, our shopping page. Um, yes, you can. Well, because you didn't talk about that. Well, the or did you want to wait for the shopping page? Anything that we featured here today, you can go to www.pnqs.net. That's also printed across the top of the screen. Um, and you can hit shop and it'll take you right, you'll press on the Wednesday Live featured goodies. And everything that we featured today um, will be on there. And you have until next Wednesday to go ahead and um, make your selections. So those will right. be up there. But also for this clue, um, that is also um, www.pnqs.net. And up in the search bar, you're going to put quilt along, and you'll see all eight of those clues there. So um, you can print those all off. Yes, Susie, thank you. She's bringing me a little oh, cough drop. So you can finish that about the clues. <laughs> you can find all the clues there. I was going to say I was listening, but I was letting you finish your thought out. Um, but, yes. Anyways, okay. So um, there's still time, I mean, and you may want to make a second one of these. You might. Maybe. And thank you all for posting on the Peeps page for us, of uh, your progress. It's been right. fun to see. I'm still waiting for somebody to do the Winter Manor or the, the Red and nobody's posted any of those blocks uh -huh. yet. Ha, huh. interesting. Progress. So anyways, uh, about this mystery call, we only have two. Oh my gosh, two that's it. clues left. So next time, um, we'll see. I'll make the clues and I might might give you a little heads up on the finished quilt, but I might not either. But it's really, really pretty. And these greens, the different color, adding one more color is, is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So there we are for that. The next thing I think we have is trivia. I know. Ready? Put your thinking caps on. Okay. This is kind of a hard one. Okay. 
During the Civil War, the military requested that quilts be made to what dimensions? This isn't Quilts of Valor. This is during the Civil War. The military requested those making quilts that they be made to what dimensions? Do you know the answer to this one? I do, because I can see it on your board. But, but I, did you not, know? I do, did not know that I the top of my head. I did not know either. But anyway, first one to answer then gets to Susie's computer will be the winner of our Trivia $10 certificate. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so I want to talk to you just a little bit while we're waiting for the answer of that about Thanksgiving week, which is not next week. It is next week. <sighs> We're on this week. It's next week. Oh my gosh. You guys, where does the time go? <laughs> it just Okay, so next evaporates. week is Thanksgiving week. So I'm so telling you. So next Wednesday, we get out our stretch pants. So on Thursday, we're ready to eat good food. Exactly. Okay. So next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we are open. And we have some tremendous specials happening in the store. I mean, um, you're going to want to come every day. You're going to want to come every if day. So can. just plan to go to the grocery store Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Wednesday. You might need a few extra things. Anyways, um, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're going to have some very, very special things. Mm -hmm. And then everybody's going to eat turkey and relax on Thursday. Yep. And you won't hear from us other than maybe a Thanksgiving greeting. But Friday and Saturday, the store is closed. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the store is closed. So don't come see us at the door. But do come to our online store oh, because yes. for those two days and those two days only, you'll be amazed. It's yeah. going to be some really... So watch your emails. Watch Check your out emails. The there will be several of them coming out probably at midnight um, so that you can know what's going on. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Friday in, in store. So in come store. See us in Monday, store. Tuesday, Wednesday in store, close Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but... Friday and Saturday are Cue up your coffee, get yep. your pies, We're going to have some jammies. really fun things um, for you. So, um, And we do want you all to enjoy um, the holiday. We, are, we will be on a Wednesday afternoon, though. We will be. So we will wish you happy Thanksgiving right. too, as well. So, so we have a winner, Marcia. Yeah, we do. Hey, this, she's won before. I she's won Smart Cookie. Leisha Kandinsky. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. Smart. I know, right? So the answer is 48 inches by 84 inches or 7 feet by 4 feet is the dimensions they used back then during the Civil War because that is the size that would fit a standard military issued cot during the Civil War. Right. So They're new smart. knowledge for everybody right. today exactly. about Civil War quotes. Okay, are we sneak peeking? Oh, yes. Okay. Or are we auctioning first? No, we're going to sneak peek really quick. We got to guess. I'm concerned. You're concerned about this? No, I'm concerned that you were going to unplug oh, something. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay, okay. I'm, this is all I'm doing. I'm not undoing this at all. This we'll just came, and this is Tula Pink, and this is the new Daydreamer. Daydreamer. And it's got flamingos, I think, on there. It's got a lot of fun stuff. So we have but this. Look at those colors. How happy. I know. This is really, really happy. So we also got in the new. Um, and all Laura Heine. Laura Heine is Collage really Collage fabrics. So we've got some really, really bright, fun, happy, happy groups in here right now. But this, I believe, is on the floor. They were just unwrapping right. it. So it's on the floor. And in the online store, we've got all the bolts and several different kinds of pre-cuts. I know you're going to want them. You know, so that was a sneak peek. I just had to do that. I know. Okay. Okay, the next is auction quilt. All right. Oh, gosh, look at this. This week's auction quilt is a lovely um, winter panel quilt. Beautiful, beautiful cardinals. So with some borders. Actually, it is actually Meyer borders. Meyer borders all the way across. Whoa. Fancy. I know. So this will be posted tomorrow morning on our Facebook, Facebook page, page right here. And you have until Saturday at 1 o'clock to bid on that one. Right. Oh, I just stay up. She's got some sale this, fabrics. This time we do have sale fabrics. 
And in they come. Do, 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 do. Whoa. Crash, bang. I just realized you said you had wanted me to do something, but then I didn't get it done because I was in my car again. Shopping. What were you going to do? You told me to get the pre-cuts out, but I don't know that we I don't have think any. we have any. I think Susie sent somebody after them, and we have none. Okay, I got so, a little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay. okay, yep. So anyways, these are the quilts, and we're not going to shush all these out. But this is made, um, I do have to shush it a little bit. Because it's got um, a panel here. We got one? Well, yep. This is made, um, Gina made this, and this is a Doug um, Lico pattern out of one of his books. But this is using that inside a jelly roll, and it's really a cute, cute quilt. And then we've got some runners. This is like a reversible runner that we made. And this is another fun little thing that we made from Table Tastic. Table Tastic. And I think this is Table Tastic as well. Yes. Isn't that pretty? It's very pretty. Yeah, look at are these dogs? Nope, these are ours. Oh. Reversible. I love it. I know. Anyways, this is called Violet Hill. And um there's not very many pieces. Holly on Taylor. It. Yep. This is all that's left. It was a really, really big line. Um, so we do have a few of the purples, like this is really cute with all the gardening things. I know, so it. if you have any projects that you need a backing for, that'd be great. There's just a little bit of this one background, but we have plenty of these um, little background squares. This would be good for a backing as well. So $8 a yard for what's left. And then we have these little guys that are just left over from that line. And it was called Nature's Calling. So these are fun. Outhouse themed. It kind of is. Um, but these are just the three um, things that are left. These are great backings for one guys. one six pack of fabrics left. Yep. These are great for Becca butt guys quilts or whatever. Right. They're really cool. Well, okay. So there are some like well, bathroom humor signs on right. this Go one. Go in style. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Um, yeah, I will read them all because yeah. some of them are kind of funny. Okay. Anyways, are funny. So that's our sale fabric, $8 a yard. This one leftover is 30% off. Gosh, Marcia, that's a lot of stuff we squeezed in there. It is. All right, so I think that is about it for today. So we're going to button it up? I think we're buttoning this up for today. Wow. So once again, here we are. Oh, Hi, new so. so. <laughs> in Rochester, Minnesota, butting it up for this week. Really looking forward to seeing you on next Wednesday. It's the Thanksgiving Eve show, and uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. So, so hope to see you in the store next week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Right, but this show will be on Wednesday. We will That's be on right. Wednesday. That's right. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Watch your emails too, because it's going to be awesome. It is. Oh, machine specials too, both Bernina and Baby Luck. I got to stop. You got to stop. All right, We're thank you time. so much, everybody, for joining us today. And we'll probably see you in Mon uh, some of you Monday in the store. And don't forget about Friday and Saturday. We're going to have a great online sale for all of our friends from far away as well. Thanks again, everybody. Bye bye. Bye.